this case we are going to solve in this uh, open home environment so here you can see uh, that uh, this is a uh, simple 2d problem so where uh, i have taken one slab of 50 mm 50 mm 50 mm and the uh, upper temperature is 573 kelvin and lower temperature is 273 kelvin so how easily you can solve this problem in open foam that we are going to see in the open foam environment so so if you go to the open foam so let me go to the directory of open foam so you will see here that uh, this this is the file structure of the open form so you will find there there will be one open form folder there will be one uh, folder with name of uh, your user id and there will be one folder name as third party okay so the, these are three extra folder because i have also installed installed the debug version of the open form 6 so these three folders you will not get in your open form structure folder so you can ignore these three folders but you can uh, you will get this three folder for sure this open from six this is the name of your user id so my, in my in my in my case my user is pratyu so that's why i am getting this folder as a pratyu six and uh, another one will be third party six so here in open from six when we open this so here we will get uh, this type these kinds of folders in that directory so for now for uh, a couple of uh, tutorials we are going to just focus on this two folder that is tutorials and another one is the application folder okay so if you want to solve any problem so let me go to the one case so I have copied one case from here basic folder this case and I have uh, simplified this folder. I have simplified this folder according to the our problem. Okay, so you can see here that uh, this is the glass slab, and I am solving in a 2D problem. So I have taken dimension is equal to 50 mm each side, and these two boundary condition I have applied here. Okay, so uh, this I have also kept at 273 Kelvin. This side also. And this side also I have kept the temperature equal to 273 Kelvin. So this simple problem we are going to solve in the open form, uh, in open form environment. So let me just open this folder in in the terminal. Okay. So I will open this. Let me clean this folder. So there is I will use the command of we have six to create the open foam environment and there is a command foam clean tutorials so that will clean the all the cases if you have already simulated the simulation so this command is being used to clean the your folder so now you can start the foam clean tutorials and uh, if you want to simulate any case in open foam these three folders are very necessary folder so zero folder is let me write here so that zero folder is present here for initial condition you can say and there is one constant folder that is for bound that is for messing so generally messing messing is done in constant folder so so for now you should know that Messing folders is present in the constant folder and the system folder that is present here that time control so how you how you are controlling the time so how much you, uh, what is the time step you are taking that is going to all present in the system folder and other which is the dis discretization of the discretization of the equations we are solving that method is also going to present in the system folder okay so these things you have to know for now uh, we are going to discuss these things in more details but you should know that the initial condition you have to initialize in the, in the uh, zero folder constant folder you have to uh, the missing is present in the constant folder 
and like other also you can say that food properties or whatever you are solving that is also present here in the constant folder and lastly the time control and digitization is done in the system folder okay so what i mean to say that uh, so here we are solving conduction problem okay Con uh, conduction problem we are solving here the problem i have specified in the uh, last slide so we are solving a simple conduction problem that is the 2d conduction problem so we are solving 2d conduction problem so now for 2d conduction problem if i will say that what is the initial condition so what is the boundary condition we are applying that all is going to present in the zero folder okay and uh, meshing will folder will be present in the constant this meshing we are going to discuss in the more detail in the upcoming lecture and second i have said that fluid properties are solid properties okay that here fluid as well as solid you can write that whatever material we are using in the solution those properties are going to present in the constant folder so here in 2d problem so i can say that alpha that is the conduct k upon rho cp so if you know that alpha alpha equal to k upon k upon rho cp okay that is the alpha in the 2d conduction problem so you can find out the uh, 2d conduction equation from any uh, google you can search here so there is the one alpha and uh, that is defined as the k upon rho cp so that alpha we are going to define in the constant folder only and lastly we the different the time controls turn control we will define in the system time control we are going to define in the system folder and uh, discretization that is the the different terms of the 2d conduction equation how we are going to discretize those equations those terms okay that all going to uh, written in the system folder okay so let's go to the again open form so if you see here that uh, let me run the machine so in open form there is a strongest tool there is the basic there, there is a one tool called as block mesh that is used to generate the hexahedral meshes uh that uh, how to use the block mesh i will going to i will discuss in the lec next lectures next few lectures but for now you should know that here we are using the block mesh for the creating the mesh so that is creating the mesh here using the block mesh uh, it is taking some time okay so by default open form works as the 3d okay so in open form there is no any specific uh, criteria to create the 2D in a 2D mesh. So here by default it works as a 3D. Uh, let me show you the meshing here. We have already generated the uh, meshing here using the block mesh tool. So the para form we are using for the C visualization purpose. So you can see here that this is our mess. Okay. So open form by default it works as the 3D. So you can see here that this even this 2D problem, the message is done like a 3D. But if you want to simulate the 2D, then you have to just specify one cell in that direction, uh, which we are taking as uh, which we are not taking into account. So for example. Uh, jet direction we are not taking into account so that's why we have kept one cell in that direction for other direction this you can say that x direction there is a number of cells in y direction there is a number of cells but in 3d we are taking as one cells because we are considering that side as a we are, uh, we are considering this problem as a 2d so that's why we have kept one cell in uh, jet direction only now if we see here different patch names 
So if you see the patch names different, this one is a min x, this one is a max x, this is the max y, this is the min y. Okay, so these are the different patch names. Okay, so if we go to the zero folder, so here we specify, we specify the initial condition. So what is the condition before the solving the equations? So when you open, open here, so as I told you that uh, the min x, min x means this upper part that is the 573 Kelvin. This is the min y, this is the 273 Kelvin, min x 273, min x, min uh, max x 273 Kelvin and the internal internal temperature is also 273 Kelvin. So you can see here right, all the specification here. So in, in internal field we are taking 273 Kelvin, min x we are taking 273, max x we are taking the 273, min y we are taking 273 and max y we are taking the 573 Kelvin. So this problem we have specified in the zero folder here. Okay. Now if you go to the constant folder, here you are seeing the polymers. This is the folder for the meshing that I have told you already that constant folder is responsible for the missing now and another folder is the transport property so I said that the fluid or uh, solid uh, solid body trans uh, properties we are going to specify, specify in the constant folder so here you can see here that we are specifying the alpha value is equal to 4 into e to the power minus 5 that is this is the alpha we are denoting it as a dt okay this is the same alpha so we are denoting as the dt here okay this is the unit specification and this is the that value it is going to solve now if we go to the system folder so that block mesh which we have used this is the script we have used for creating the mesh that we are going to discuss uh, in coming lectures so far now i am ignoring this script file that control plate is responsible for the time and control so it is starting from zero and it will go to the up to three and three uh, three time step and it is the delta t so from zero it will start and after each 0 0.005 it will solve the equations so, and it will go to up to the three okay so this is the all the specification of the time control in the system folder now this is the FV scheme and FV solution so here we specify what uh, method we are using for the solving the equations so like uh, unsteady turn we are using the Euler Euler uh, discretization system for discretization uh, disc, discretizing the this term and grad scheme we are using this goal Gauss linear and Gauss linear so divergence scheme will not present in the oh, 2D conduction problem but uh, even if you are writing here it will not affect the our uh, our numerical solution Laplacian term we are using this calls linear corrected and other terms are if there is present any of the term in the equation it will automatically call the schemes from the system folder from the FE schemes so for now we have to just worry about this Laplacian schemes and DDT schemes and FE solution we are just using what is the tolerance what is the what is the tolerance we are taking and what is the uh, orthogonal character correction values we are using that will be as specifying in the FE solution okay so this tolerance and uh, if any relaxation factor value is uh, needed that we are going to specify in the fv solution okay so this all folders other folders fv scheme fv solution control dict and in constant folder this transport properties and block mesh dict folder this all we are going to discuss but for now you should just familiar with these three folders so what is zero folder what is the constant folder what is the system folder that basics you should know for now now let's uh, we have already done the meshing control c i am pressing to close the para of foam
now if you press control l from your tab from your system this will just clear the screen so our missing has been created that we know our zero folder we have already specified the initial conditions that we also know our discretization system and the tolerance values all we have provided in the system folder and in constant folder we have already given the fluid properties sorry solid properties here so now we can start with the solution so to solve the uh, this type of problem if you go to the in solver open form there is one application folder in our solvers there is one basic folder there is a laplace info so if you open here you can see here that it is saying that solves a simple laplacian equation for thermal diffusion in a solid so there are already a number of solvers is present in the open form and you can just open those solvers and you can read here the problem specification so here if you open the descriptions you read the description you already know that what type of problem this solver can be used for okay so for example if i open uh, from any folder like in compressor if i open the simple form so if i open this folder from here you can see here that it will solve the steady state type of problem for incompressible flow turbulent flow the algorithm it is using as a simple algorithm so from the description of the solver you can have some idea that what kind of problem this solvers can be used for so in our case we are just solving the laplacian equation so i will run here laplacian form okay so if you tab uh, after typing some two or three letters if you press the tab it will automatically call the solver so i will run here so it is running the okay now the you can see here that the solver is solving there is a gap so if i open the control dict folder so you can see here from in terminal it is the uh, the equation is starting from zero folder So if you open this folder, so you can see here that it is starting from zero time step. So created mesh for zero, and after zero, it will solve the delta t value it is taking as the 0.005. So this is the delta t. So after each, there is only the delta t means the time difference between the two iteration will be 0.005. This is 0 0.01, 0.00015, and it will go up to the three time, three. Uh, you can say the three second. It is going up to the three, and after that it will end. Now we can again visualize in the paraform. So this is the paraform. I have turned off this background and let me create it as a white and it this is the our problem and here you have to search for the t which are you which you are solving and just press the run button so you can see here that it has been reached the steady state and this is the our solution okay so if i bring here so you can see here that the above temperature is around 573 and this is the temperature distribution profile okay now if you want to do post process processing here are different type of the color tool ball is present so you can use any kind of the color tool bar you want so now you can see here that this is the beautiful a temperature plot after solving the Laplacian equation of the steady conduction problem. So in this lecture, I have just given the idea about how what is the test case structure of the open form, and I am stopping here for this problem here only. So in the next lecture, we are going to explore more about the open form. So thank you all of you for watching this video.